I can now do cupping at home. I started going to someone locally to do cupping on my right shoulder because I'm using it as part of my shoulder health because my therapist has given me exercises but usually my shoulder is really pulled forward and it's really hard to keep it back in the right place but after I get cupping it's easier to keep my shoulder in the right place when I do those exercises so they really complement each other. I believe cupping is a really important tool for my therapy but it does get a bit expensive having to pay for someone to do it all the time. But then 8 Away contacted me and asked if they could send a product for me to review. So I said, hell yeah! So it's just arrived. So I'm gonna go check it out now. So here is the cupping device and with some filters. And it actually also does red light therapy. Here it is. Now before I use it, I need to charge it. You, that it comes with a cord that you just plug into a USB port. When the light is green, it means it's charged. I now need to put a filter cotton in, which is to keep the device clean and for maintenance purposes. It will need to be replaced eventually, but that depends on how much I use it. Before you do the cupping, you need to prep your skin with oil, gel or lotion. So you spread it over the area that you're going to suction and you've got to make sure no pooling of liquid. So I use coconut oil because I've got plenty of that around. It comes with a lanyard that you can put around your other arm or your neck to stop it from falling and breaking. So we press the on button on and it will automatically start on the standard setting 1, active mode, which is a quick suction and release. There are five different settings you can choose from. By pressing this button you can go through each setting which is indicated by the green light. The second one is soothing mode, which is a quick suction followed by a slow suction. The third is deep mode, a deep suction and release. Fourth, professional mode, which involves continuous suction and no release. The fifth is continual mode, where it does a triple suction and release. Once you have chosen your setting, you can change the intensity. Press this button to go through the levels, which is indicated by the red light. All the settings automatically turn off after 12 minutes, except for the fifth setting, which you need to turn off manually. Once it's turned off, it does seem to stay on, so it's less likely to fall and break. You just kind of wiggle it off and pull it off. Sometimes you need to, might need to put your fingers under to help pull it off. After cupping, your skin will be bruised and marked a little bit and it usually lasts about 10 days. That's the average time. But because I have a spinal cord injury, it means my skin is a bit more sensitive, especially below my level of injury. So it means I have to be extra cautious about it. So not cut for as long and pay attention to how long the marking lasts. For example, the first time I ever did cupping, it lasted, the marking lasted over three weeks, so I had done it for too long. So then we shortened the time, so then the marking didn't last as long. Common places for cupping are your shoulders, your back, or the back of your neck. Really, you can cup anywhere, but you can't cup over wounds, scars, or close to your heart. But anywhere else should be okay. <laughs> I'm going to cup on my right shoulder because that's my problem area. So I'm gonna do that now and then tell you how it went.
finished cupping my right shoulder, I did two different spots, each for three minutes. And I'll be able to tell next time if I should go shorter or longer, depending on how long the bruising lasts. But I won't be able to do cupping until the bruises fade away because you can't cup on already cupped skin. I felt like it did a good job and I feel like I can move my arm around more, but I'll go try some of my exercises to see if there's some improvements. So I think it worked. My exercises felt easier in keeping my shoulder back and in the right position or in a better position. I found this device really easy to use and because I needed help to do my shoulder, I had to get a friend to help me, but it was really easy to direct her and she did a good job. Maybe I'll be able to do it in time, but for now, having a friend help is easy and it works. <laughs> and it's also a lot cheaper than going to see someone to do it. So that's good. I definitely recommend these. It is a bit annoying that I need to get someone to help me to do my back and shoulder, but lucky I have some good friends. <laughs> if you're considering cupping and you have muscles that are too really sore, stiff, are in a lot of pain and nothing's working, then you should definitely give it a try. Remember to subscribe and if you want to check out the product, click the link in the description below. Also, comment if you've ever tried cupping. See you in the next video.